Hi, this is Jay with eXp Realty, and I always get asked a lot of questions about real estate, and I'm always happy to help. And that's why I made this video. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you need any help buying your next house, please give me a call. Homeownership challenges to be aware of. There are many advantages to homeownership and also a few challenges. Make sure you are aware of both so that you can make an informed decision as to whether or not you're ready to start the home buying process. Monthly expenses. Your monthly mortgage will likely be close to what you were previously paying in rent, but you will probably add new monthly costs for things like trash pickup, HOA dues, update and repair costs, etc. Maintenance and repairs. A good rule of thumb is to expect to spend about 1% of your home value for maintenance, repairs, and updates. As a guideline, that is a little more than $150 per month for a $200,000 house. Relocation. As a military member, we all know relocations can happen suddenly and unexpectedly. I have a friend that bought his house thinking he would be here for at least four years and then less than a year later he had to move. Think of your house as an investment and know what you could rent it for if you had to. Foreclosure. We don't like to think about it, but foreclosure could happen. We all know someone who lost a job or went through an ugly divorce or worse, got really sick and incurred a lot of medical expenses. When something like this happens, making your monthly mortgage payment can be difficult. Just be honest with yourself and understand that this is a potential risk of home ownership. The major benefits to home ownership. You have a predictable monthly payment. You don't have to worry about rent going up year after year. You can build equity. Every month when you make your payment, you're actually buying more and more equity. In fact, the Federal Reserve says that home equity accounts for more household wealth than any other financial asset, including retirement savings. You're free to add personal touches. Does your wife want a bright red accent wall in your bedroom? Do you want to have some flowers planted in your backyard or change the color of your appliances? When you own your home, you don't have to get approval from the landlord. You have the freedom to add your own personal touches to your house. You can improve your credit. When you make your monthly mortgage payments on time, you can really boost your credit score and creditors love the stability of homeowners with solid credit scores. You can take advantage of tax breaks. You should talk to a tax professional about all of the possible tax deductions you're eligible for as a homeowner. It's things like property taxes, interest rate deductions, mortgage insurance, closing cost fees, and other expenses associated with owning your home. Fun fact, VA loan foreclosure rates are about half that of traditional loans. Home ownership and upfront cost. Down payment. VA loans don't require a down payment, which saves you a minimum of 3% down, and some lenders will charge you as much as 5% down or more. Earnest money. This is a good faith deposit that lets the seller know you're a serious buyer. This is typically about 1% of the sales price and held in escrow at the title company. If the deal falls through for some reason, you can usually get this money back depending on the few variables. When you close on your house, this money is usually applied to your closing cost. VA appraisal. This is a check and balance system with two parts. First is to assess the market value of the house and just to make sure that the house is worth what you are paying for it. Second and unique to the VA loan is a check on a broad scale the health and safety conditions of the house. The VA appraisal is usually about $500 and gets paid by the home buyer up front and out of pocket, meaning it's not rolled into your loan. Home inspection. This is a detailed inspection of the house and the condition of the various systems that make it up. The foundation, the roof, the electrical, the plumbing, HVAC, etc. The home inspection isn't required, but it only makes sense to spend $500 up front to uncover any major defects versus spending hundreds of thousands of dollars and then finding out about a big issue. Plus, with the inspection report, you can renegotiate or even walk away from the deal if necessary. With all that being said, it is worth mentioning that the inspection report is going to look very scary. Every little thing that is even questionable will be written up in the report, and that's why it's best to attend the inspection. Let the inspector tell you directly what might be of concern and what is not such a big thing to worry about. It is much easier to hear this information and get your questions answered then than it is to read the inspection report without any frame of reference as to what was written up in the report and why. Closing costs. These are the fees associated with taxes, insurance, and originating your loan. 
These can vary widely from lender to lender, which is another great reason to work with a trusted VA lender. And you can ask the seller to help you pay for some of these costs up to 4%. This is very dependent on market conditions. If the seller has multiple offers or the house is getting a lot of showings, the seller may opt to wait for an offer that isn't asking for any closing cost. I hope this was helpful. And if you liked the video, please forward and share it with anybody that you think might be buying a house this year. And if you have any questions, please feel free to call, email, or text me.